we're going to look at something called KTOR, which is a web framework for Kotlin, and it um, can be used with IntelliJ, and it's created by JetBrains. Now, KTOR is very similar to something like Node.js, but a lot simpler. It doesn't have all the features of Node.js, and that's great, mainly because sometimes you want something simple. So if you're not a back-end web developer, fully KTOR is perfect for you if you want to create something very simple. We're just going to go through some very basic concepts of KTOR and get it up and running first. So go all the way down on the GitHub page and click on Gradle because we're going to be using Gradle. And follow these uh, for your... your uh, your your repositories add in the maven uh ktor and kotlin x add in the build script and then the dependencies and also add coroutines you want to add coroutines because coroutines is something that's experimental coroutines is a uh, way of doing asynchronous tasks experimental so if you use it there'll be a pop-up that's saying that you're using experimental api and uh stop doing that um, and this will pretty much turn that off also want to add your other compile and, and this is exactly what it should look like afterwards don't copy and paste this but this should be a uh, kind of what it looks like and i'll show you what mine looks like i already put everything in so i had the ktor version 0 0.4.0 in the build script i added the two maven inside of the repository here I had the coroutines right under the repository and above the dependencies to where I put it. And I put in the two compile for KTOR and Netty. Now you need Netty for the host and clienting with that. Let's get started with the main class. Um, for this, uh, we're going to do it in the main, just in the main right now, just very simple. It's going to be the only thing running. And you want to create something called an embedded server. Now, this is what creates the server for you that creates the listeners for, you know, accessing your web page. We're going to put in Netty, which again, in our build, uh, Netty is the client hosting. Put in 8080, of course, web runs on 8080. We're going to put in routing, mainly now. What routing is, is for, for example, if we have something, a website called devlanding.com, that's our host address. Um, routing would be, for example, devlanding.com slash course or devlanding.com slash about or, you know, something like that. Anything after the slash. Now we're going to create a git request, which is git. Put in slash. So with here, we're, this git request is going to be, you know, for example, devlanding.com slash, slash. That's what, when we go to that web page, this is what we're going to get in these, in this um, block here. Now we need to, now I'm going to post some JSON in here. We can do text. I want JSON. I want so for KTOR, I don't want to create a website. I want to create a backend framework. So um, I want a RESTful API to work on here when I'm doing Android development. So I want a JSON here, just like RESTful APIs would. So I'm gonna get some JSON. Now I already have a JSON file in here. It's called myjson.json, and it's just JSON I found on the web. That's for example. I'm just gonna put my JSON dot JSON. We're gonna get the create a function that will get that. Now we're just gonna create. Now on my for Java, it's a little hard to get a file string the to read the file from Java, but for Colin, it's super easy. So just create a file with the file name. Boom. You know, this is regular Java. You know this. But now we can just do read text. 
put in our car set, and I'll put the default. And then, boom, we have the um, the strength in the file. I'm 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 always amazed by that. That that just takes two lines, and with Java, it takes like ten plus lines. It's amazing. But uh, now we're doing a we're calling call, and this allows us to present text to the user, such as the JSON. We're gonna do we spawn text. Not that one, don't want the parentheses, I want that one. Yep, there we go. I'm gonna put in our JSON. We, we could put something like hello or hey there, but we're gonna put in our JSON. Just make it functional, just like how we would in real life, we would make this a RESTful API. Right now we're gonna put in the content type. Because we can see here in the respond text, we need a text string and then the content type. We don't put anything, it's null by default. Content type dot. Now we're going to put in text dot. Now we have to import this. We want the KTOR one. Now we'll see which ones we have. We have JavaScript, any, CSS, HTML, plain. I don't know what vCard is, but there's, there's XML. We're gonna put JavaScript mainly because if you have a JSON converter or displayer in your Google Chrome or Firefox, it will parse that. If I put HTML or something, it won't parse it. So I want the JavaScript, I want people to be able to parse it and make it look pretty within your your Chrome. I think Chrome does that by default, not sure. I have an extension uh, does that. And after this, we want to do start and then um, just put true. And you have it up and running. We can press play here. Now, these red lines, these aren't warnings or errors. Uh, not exactly sure what this means, but it's running right now. That's all you need to know. Uh, now, since we don't have, since we didn't hook this up to a domain name. It's going to be by default from localhost. And we're going to put 8080 mainly because in our embedded server we put in 8080. So if we go here, we'll get our JSON now. And we have it. We can actually create a RESTful API that quick. Very easy, very quick. We can create a very quick, a very quick RESTful API for any of your your needs, such as like you know, um, you're creating a a Android app, which is what I use it for. I'm creating an Android app. And I want a RESTful API really quick. Just create it and done. Create this for production or you know, um, just a little test for, for testing. I use this for testing sometimes. Doesn't have all the features. Not very messy like Node.js, where has so many features that you you're writing so much stuff to get something simple. This is very simple, it has many features. I like it that way, you just have, it has, it does have a lot of features, but I'm using the bare bones here. Uh, it's very simple, it's very fast. You can create something very fast in Ktor. 